This is a bread and butter pediatric hip disorder question for USMLE. I'm not trying to make this tricky or weird. I think the best value for you is to just see a textbook type, a textbook style question on this. Okay. This is, you're trying to learn this stuff. Um, so I'll obviously get into the question. If you want, just subscribe to my channel, like the video. I really appreciate it. So we've got this 12 year old boy. He's got hip pain and a limp. He's at the 90th percentile for weight. We have an x-ray shown. So you need to know for USMLE that the classic scenario of a pre-adolescent overweight boy with a painful limp, generally 11 to 13 years old, that's going to be skiffy, slipped, capital, femoral, epiphysis. Sounds really fucking weird, I know. But skiffy is one of the high-yield pediatric hip disorders for USMLE, okay? so overweight uh, pre-adolescent boy with a painful limp that's skiffy and we look at the x-ray here this is showing us the classic uh, ice cream cone literally like the ice cream slipping off the cone that's how we colloquially describe it you can see on the right hip here and uh, if we want to describe this medically we just look at our answers this is referred to as disruption of the femoral head epiphyseal plate all right, so that's very clean, concise value so far. Okay, your textbook vignette and your textbook x-ray, this is skiffy, all right? And on 2CK, the answer is going to be surgical pinning as your treatment. Now, let's look at some of the other answers. Should I say avascular necrosis of the femoral head? Wrong fucking answer. This, if idiopathic, meaning we don't know the cause, is referred to as leg calf perths or perthes, however the fuck you say it. Um, that's avascular necrosis of the femoral head, idiopathic. If we have a known etiology of the avascular necrosis, such as sickle cell, okay, that's a classic cause, it's not called leg calf perths, okay? It has to be idiopathic for it to be called leg calf perths. Um, so if you get a vignette of sickle cell, e.g., and you have a hip problem, you say, oh, that's avascular necrosis. Or if you have glucose cerebrosidase deficiency, build up glucose cerebroside, Gaucher or Gaucher, lysosomal storage disease, avascular necrosis of the femoral head, okay? Chronic glucocorticoid, steroid use, Cushing's, avascular necrosis of the femoral head. If the USMLE asks you for a vessel, you're gonna choose medial femoral circumflex artery. It's just what they want, just memorize it. Choice B, avascular necrosis of the proximal femur. Wrong answer. I mean, just throw in two distractors here. As we said, skiffy, disruption of femoral head epiphyseal plate. Just memorize it. Choice D, inflammation of the trochanteric bursa. That is trochanteric bursitis. Bursa are fluid-filled sacs that protect joints. Trochanteric bursitis will be the answer if they give you lateral hip pain that is exacerbated with palpation and the patient will complain of hip pain when lying on his or her side in bed. That's your classic trochanteric bursitis question. That's how it'll present. Choice E, poorly developed acetabulum refers to primary hip dysplasia or congenital hip dysplasia. This is going to be uh, clicking, clunking, positive uh, Ortolani and Barlow maneuvers on physical exam, classically in a neonate, okay? But the U.S. simile can give you a kid up to one year of age classically. So if you have positive Ortolani and Barlow maneuvers for 2CK in step three, if they have ortho referral listed as the next best step, you're going to choose that. Sounds fucking wrong. That's why it's a high yield point value for you because you say ortho. I thought like referrals were always wrong. Well, not in this case. So you're going to do an ortho referral. If ortho referral is not listed, then you're just going to go straight to imaging. You're going to choose Ultrasound under six months, X-ray over six months. It's what the USMLE wants. Sometimes in QBank, they give you they they're pedantic about like an overlap of the two. If you're at four months, etc., fucking ignore it. It's just ultrasound under six months, X-ray over six months, and then the treatment is a Pavlik harness, P-A-V-L-I-K harness, uh, also known as an AB abduction harness, okay? So it can be written as abduction harness on the USMLE, even though in the resources you hear Pavlik, Harnik, pa Pavlik harness classically, okay? Uh, I should also just quickly mention, I, because I forgot to mention that uh, for the 
uh, like calf parrots, they're going to give you generally a, a kid who's five to eight years old. So age actually really helps for these vignettes. When you get skiffy, as we said, about 11 to 13 years old, okay? Uh, leg calf parrots, they have vascular necrosis, about five to eight. And then if it's congenital hip dysplasia, under the age of one, okay? We can make this a long clip. That's just some concise value for you. So I'll make more content. You know the deal. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.